So now that you've registered an account with Pantheon, you are ready to create your first staging site. So I'm going to walk you through that process and then I'm gonna walk you a little bit through the actual Pantheon dashboard. So I've just created a quick dummy account um, and uh, I wanna, first we're going to walk through installing your first WordPress website and setting up your staging site. And then the second part of the tutorial is gonna be walking you through the Pantheon dashboard and showing you what the different items mean. So this is your dashboard and you should see this welcome message when you first sign in and see your dashboard for the first time. And we're just gonna click on create new site and it's gonna open that process up in another window. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna name our site. So, uh, you know, you can call this whatever you'd like. I'll just call it, you know, my first website. And also keep in mind that's going to affect the URL of your staging website. So you can see it's a dev dash my dash first dash website dot pantheon site dot io. Um, if you have organization set up, you can choose that. That's, you know, more for the agency's part of it if you're actually running an agency, um, but none is fine as well. So once we enter that information in, we click continue. Oh, so, sorry, one of those already exists. So let's just do um, my dummy website, Latte Press, and we'll click continue. And obviously they need to be unique, obviously, because those URLs need to be unique. We can't have websites with the same URL. So then you're gonna see this, and uh, like we talked about in Choose Your Host, uh, Pantheon started with Drupal, but we're gonna ignore that. We want WordPress, so we're gonna click the Deploy button next to WordPress. And this will just take a few minutes while it uh, installs or uh, loads the files for WordPress and sets up your, uh, your URL and, and all that kind of stuff. It'll just take a minute. Once it's finished, you're gonna see this green bar and you're gonna see a button that says visit your Pantheon site dashboard. So we're gonna click that. So each site that you have, it's gonna have its own kind of uh, mini sub dashboard. And this is all the information. I'm gonna go over all of this in a minute, but first we're gonna click this button that says visit development site and that's gonna bring up your new website in a new window. And we need to quickly install WordPress. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to select the language, uh, the base or the core language of your website. For me, that's English and click continue. Now we're gonna put in a site title. So I'll just do that. That can be anything you like. That's what's gonna show up at the top, you know, on the tabs and the title, the basic title of your website. Then we're gonna put in a username. And remember, we like to keep these a little bit complex because we can always change the display name later. I'm not gonna get too crazy with this one. Just something like that. And I'm gonna open up a quick notepad so I can save that for a second, which you might wanna to do too. And then we're going to uh, generate a password. Now I have a program that does this called LastPass. I also have, it also um, saves all of my passwords so I don't have to remember all of them for each site. So you might wanna check into one of those or another password manager. It also generates secure passwords for me. So I'm gonna put my password in. I'm gonna pop in my email address. And we're gonna make sure to check this box because this is a staging site and we don't want Google or anybody to be uh, indexing us yes. yet. We're gonna check this box to prevent anybody from uh, finding us until we're ready. And then we're gonna click install WordPress. So now we're all installed, we're gonna click that login button. And I'm gonna use that username and password that I just created. And we're gonna log in for the first time. Um, so at this point, uh, we're all set as far as creating our staging site and the next tutorial will pick up right here um, as you go through the tour of the WordPress dashboard. That's a bit of a longer video. And after that video, uh, there's one that's like the first initial steps that you'll take uh, that you'll do whenever you create a website. And that's right where we'll pick this up. So you can leave this now. We can close our dashboard, you know, bookmark this for later or whatever you need to do, but we can close it just so I can show you this Pantheon dashboard, right? So this is our main, uh, our main dashboard. And you can see here, as we talked about, it tracks the changes to files on your website. So there's nothing there now, um, but, uh, but um, if, if there are changes to our website, it'll be there. This connection mode, uh, in order to kind of sync everything up, it needs to be in this Git mode. 
um, but and that that's like all changes will be synced up uh, but while we're working on our website we want this to be on the FSFTP tab because that will allow us to upload images and stuff directly to through the WordPress website so make sure it's on that tab um, and we also have our dev test and live environments but those aren't set up yet so we're just gonna focus on the staging when we're ready to go live we'll start messing around with our test and our live uh, so this is our code that lets us know if there's any changes and stuff like that. We can click on status and that's going to let us know um, what our database usage is, uh, if we have any problems with our cron, um, if there's outdated plugins, uh, you know, if some other some other warnings and stuff like that, but I'll talk more about that as we go through. And just some just some information about your website that's quite useful. And if there's any errors or big warnings, you'll see a red notification. These yellow ones are just kind of warnings letting me know that, you know, like plugins need to be updated or something like that we can go to database and files if we want to clone our database and files um, we can go to errors to see if there's any PHP errors on our website when we're ready to launch the website and we've paid for a plan this is where we would go in to set up our domain it's also where we go to set up our global C CDN and our SSL certificate so remember that for later but I'll walk you through that uh, this is our backups and this is important for you Pantheon users because Pantheon does not take backups automatically. So we have to do that manually. Uh, so in order to do that, um, and again, the backup schedule, once you're a paid plan, you can set up a schedule for backups, but until then we have to kind of do it on our own. So uh, we can choose how long to keep the backup and you just click this create new backup and it will take a backup of the files of the database and other stuff. And you can download those or you know uh, they'll be saved on Pantheon for this period of time uh, and then we have the security so if you want to lock down the staging site so nobody can access it we can click this on locked and enter in a password and then there's this new relic integration um, but we'll cover that during our launch tutorials we're not going to mess around with that for right now um, we can go into the connection info to get our FTP or our file transfer protocol information. If you need that later on, that's where you would get that. You can clear out the Pantheon caches. Uh, so if we're making changes to our front end design much later from now, and for some reason those changes aren't showing up on the front end, click this button, it'll clear out the cache, and I'll talk about what a cache is later. And then we had just some, some general settings for our website plan, you know, choosing your billing, billing and stuff like that. And this is also where you would delete the site if you wanted to delete it. So that's just a quick walkthrough of the Pantheon dashboard. And the last thing that I would want to show you for now is the uh, is the support, which if you click the support button, it'll pull up the chat to talk to a Pantheon uh, support agent. You can submit a support ticket, you can call them, or you can search through the documentation. But if you have any trouble, feel free to post on the Latte Press forums and we will try to help you out. Uh, so that's support, that is the Pantheon dashboard and you should have a staging site set up. So go ahead and uh, complete this tutorial and go on to the next one where we will start to give you an overview of the entire WordPress dashboard and get those updates done, etc.